I want you to remember something, okay? I will always love you because we're the same. The serial killer known as the Surgeon may finally be behind bars. The NYPD has arrested Dr. Martin Whitley in connection with at least 23 murders. Why did you kill all those people? We can figure it out together. Yo, what are you doing here? I need a profiler. Come on, you know the FBI fired me, right? Good thing I'm NYPD. Maybe let's not mention that your dad's a serial killer. My lips are sealed. What is it? There'll be an injection point at her iliac crest. How the hell do you know that? The killer's a copycat. He's mimicking another serial killer. Surgeon. You know all about the surgeon guy. Almost like he's family. Mother, it is lovely to see you. What are you not telling me? He's working for the NYPD on the new serial killer investigation. I have moved on from your father. Why can't you? I don't want to wake up any old demons, but I had to be certain that he was copying your dad. Don't worry. My demons don't sleep. Have you spoken to him? Not in 10 years. Malcolm, my boy. You have a copycat. Really? Well, I'm flattered and deeply concerned. Your father would love this. You trying to solve his murders. He will destroy you. It's a bomb and he's locked. You're on edge. Got it under control. You chopped off a man's hand. Are you okay? I gotta give them a hand. I thought I was afraid of my father. But really? I was afraid of myself. His prodigal son. Did you orchestrate all of this to get me back? There's so much more I can teach you about murder. Maybe we can solve a few together. Goodbye, Dr. Whitley. My boy. And joining Fox Sunday comes the brand new series, Bless the Hearts. Hit the music! From Emmy winner Emily Spivey and Oscar winners Phil Lord and Chris Miller comes a star-studded comedy about a family that's broke, but not broken. Welcome to Biscuit Town. Population, all the biscuits you can eat. I'll have a 12 biscuit biscuit bonanza. Oh, get me some cheese grits. I will have biscuits and gravy with a side biscuit and a side of gravy. Violet, honey, what do you want? I'll take clogged arteries with a side of type 2 diabetes. We, we said cheese grits, right? That'll be twenty-one eighty. Oh, everybody, just look for loose change. Come on. Ah, ow. Yeah. Oh, I have a credit card. Can we put one biscuit on this card and write a check for the cheesy grits and townhouse rounds? Animation domination returns bigger, better. Let's go uh, counterclockwise. And thicker than ever. Nobody look. This is a private gross matter. Sundays this fall on Fox. My official title is communications director to this incredibly difficult doctor. No matter how hard I work, it's just never good enough for him. He's my dad. Oh. I talk a lot when I'm nervous because you are the hottest guy that I've ever matched with and I do this a lot. Not a lot. I mean, like a normal, healthy amount of a lot. I will fight. I've seen my dad turn countless women's despair into joy and hope. I will fight for you. In order for the miracle of conception to occur, one sperm must win the race for life against 250 million competitors. So I made it my mission to improve nature's odds, to combat infertility. Excuse me, sir. My source alleges that you use your own sperm to impregnate a woman at the Beckley Clinic. As soon as he gets the recognition he deserves, the crazies come out of the woods. Oh, 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 Dad! Dad! For patients of the Beckley Clinic, the whole story of how they came to be could turn out to be a lie. Patients are taking matters into their own hands so they can find out the truth. You okay? That's just a little more truth than I was ready for. Did you know? Classic Leon. Leon Beckley, Julia's father. I grew up 
with them. I'm your mother. I carried you. I cared for you. That's what matters. When I started out, infertility was a dead-end street. I became the last resort for desperate patients. I stacked the deck. You did terrible harm. Something in the way you roll your eyes. Julia actually does the same exact tooth-tapping thing. No, I don't. So does Edie. I do not tap my teeth. What if it's like a shared genetic trait? Like rolling your tongue into a cigar shape? But now you're the only thing that's good. Do you guys want to get a sister selfie? Walk me home in the dead of night. I don't know about you, but I've kind of wanted a sister my entire life. Somebody that gets me. Somebody that I can share with. There's so much wrong. If they take me down, it'll destroy you too. I was always jealous of you. You had a dad who would come home and sit down with you at the dinner table. I spent my whole life looking for that. Welcome to stay here as long as you need to. No one's ever been this nice to me. I'm gonna need my own bathroom though, with a tub. If I don't get my silk on once a day, I'm like, no bueno. I can't believe it's not just me anymore. I have sisters. There is so much wrong.